Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Today, let's draw the tail of the beluga whale. Compared with other whales, the raised part in the middle of the caudal lobes of beluga whales is relatively high, while the two ends on the contrast are relatively short. In addition, its tail looks thick from top to bottom and narrow from side to side, which is exactly opposite to a shark's tail. This is because its tail swings up and down, so the muscles are concentrated on the upper and lower sides. There are some distinctive stripes on the back of its caudal lobes, which look like leaf veins. Let's draw the tail of the beluga whale from a bottom-up view. First, we draw a midline in the picture, and then draw the base of its tail, which is slender. From the base of its tail, let's draw a smooth arc to represent the low edge of its caudal lobe. Next, let's mark the highest points of its caudal lobes, which are located in the middle, and then let's draw the upper edge of the caudal lobes. On the upper margin of the caudal lobe, we can draw some thin lines, indicating that the skin here is very thin, Next, let's draw the texture on the dorsal side. Let's first draw some parallel lines on the bilateral caudal lobes. and then draw some branch structures on these parallel lines. These textures are not prominent in reality, but we can emphasize them in the drawing to let everyone know these subtle structures on its tail. Finally, let's draw some shadows at the base to show the muscles here are stout. In this way, we've finished drawing the tail of the beluga whale.